Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and Melanie B's Creative Supplies and I am here today to introduce you to a new product that I have coming up in May called Perfect Paint for Paint by Numbers. Well this paint will be for whatever project you want to use it for but it is designed specifically for paint by numbers and I'm calling it Perfect Paint for a couple of reasons. As we know, nothing is perfect but when I did a poll on my group and asked all of the members, what would make the perfect paint? I got the responses that opacity would be the most important thing. And then of course, the right consistency. So those are the things that I really focused on when I created this paint. I was striving for 90%, 200% opacity in every single color which meant that I was going to have to add more pigment to each paint to make it as richly pigmented as I possibly could. And that would mean that you would get one layer coverage. And if you saw any number at all after that first layer, then all you would have to do is go back and do a little light swipe over a number with a not even a complete second layer and get your full coverage. So the second thing was the consistency of the paint had to be somewhere between a fluid and a soft body paint. And the purpose for that was this consistency extends the life of the paint, meaning that you use less. It's almost effortless to paint with because you are not tugging and pulling or adding as much flow aid or water to make the paint go further. In a minute, when I start to swatch all of the paints on this inkjet printable canvas, you might want to watch and just pay attention to the flow of the paints across the surface. It's an ungessoed canvas and it is beautiful to watch. So by putting together the consistency with the opacity being just right, you're gonna get one coat coverage. And that means quite a few different things. You're going to be using a lot less paint. You're going to have a much more enjoyable painting experience with a lot less frustration because you're not going over and over the same places. It's not about painting faster. It's about painting with a more relaxing Zen therapy experience and enjoying your process. Okay, so there's a lot more to these paints than just the few things that I've mentioned. As we all know, normal paint kits come with the small little three milliliter paint pots, and they are sometimes impossible to open, especially for those of us with arthritic hands. So what I wanted to do was instead of using paint pots that are plastic, not so great for the environment, I wanted to use something that was more sustainable and I opted for glass because these are airtight containers and they have a shelf life of two to three years if they're stored properly. And if you keep the lids on really tight and store them out of UV light, they can last up to five years. So I've pulled just a few of the colors out in front of me. What I wanna show you is that the line of paints that I'm going to have will have the values of one particular tone of color. So you will get the dark to the light of each color. And that way it makes blending so much easier. And I'll be coming back with a video to kind of explain how that works. And for people who are new to paint by number, I don't want this to be intimidating to you because a lot of people are going to be saying, why do I need these paints? I get paints in my kit. Well, these paints are going to be for replacement paints for the ones you get that suck, okay? So, <laughs> but also for those of you who really like to take your paintings up a notch, these paints will allow you to do that. Let me show you this color. <laughs> I'm calling this one Granny Smith Apple. Can you see why? So every single paint will have a color number and a name. 
And 90% of these will be named after food because they are yummy, delicious. I mean, it just makes sense, right? I want to point out that all of the stickers on the top, all the labels are hand painted swatches. I swatch every single one of those. That way you know what the color in that bottle is going to look like when it's dry. Printed labels are not gonna be color accurate. It was very important for me to do that because as we know, the printer calibration settings and everybody's screen settings are different. So what you get, you know, may be different than what you see on your screen. But when you look at that bottle, you're gonna know what that paint's gonna look like when it's dry. So I've already swatched it for you. That was extremely important for me. One thing I forgot to mention when I was discussing what would make the perfect paint would be one that was an artist's quality because we are creating art. Don't let anybody tell you different. Anything you create with your heart and your soul is art. So when people demean our type of artwork, it really upsets me to my soul. These paints are created with the highest quality pigments and mediums and binders available on the market. So they are artist professional quality paints. They're archival, they're light fast. These will have the same longevity as the professional paints that you see on the market because I'm using the same high quality products to make these paints that they use. These will launch in May as sets. I will be continually adding more colors, more sets, if you guys try them and you love them. And trying them and loving them brings me to the samples. When I first started making these paints, I decided from the very beginning, I'm going to have to let people test them before they buy them. I designed a sample card with a little sample bottle of just random colors of the paint. So twice I've had a sale where my email subscribers, if they placed an order over $25 before shipping charges were added and before discounts were applied, that they would get a sample of the perfect paint. I wanted to show you and give you some tips about the little sample. So when you get this, all you have to do is just unscrew the lid and pull the little bottle out so that is the cutest thing ever, is it not? I mean, like, I'm just obsessed with this. Now, when you get your samples or any of the sets that you purchase, you're always going to want to stir from the bottom to mix up your paint before you ever paint anything. Shaking doesn't work as well as stirring. And so you wanna make sure that you're stirring with like one of my stainless steel stirrers that I sell on the website or whatever you have that you can just make sure that you're getting all the way to the bottom and stirring with. And I never waste a single drop of this paint ever. <laughs> so I will use whatever's on my stir stick to swatch with or whatnot. I'm gonna show you all of the colors that I have so far. I have not separated what's gonna be in each set and which sets will be available and all that quite yet, but this is just a teaser for now. And just to explain for those of you who have gotten the samples, what you need to do to make sure you're gonna get the most out of the samples when you receive them. Some of the samples that the first people are gonna be receiving, those colors are being tweaked still. And you may see some changes in the final product once you receive full size sets. So some of you may get some colors and you may say, oh, that still needs work. That's not opaque enough. So let me get out all of the beautiful color samples that I have for myself, because I have made a sample bottle like this of every color I've made so far, and I'm gonna get those ready, and then I'm gonna swatch every color for you in time-lapse so that you can see them all on the swatch guide, and you can see the consistency, the color, the opacity, and everything. So let me get that ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all my little tiny samples here and ready to swatch. Because you're only using one thin layer, these dry really fast, which you're probably going to see as I'm painting the swatch. Let's get started. 
swatching these beautiful paints. I have the best results with a flat brush. I don't get as many stroke marks and that's with any paint I use. I am using my size two. I've had my Patreon members testing this paint for me for reviews and they've used spotter brushes which are like round brushes and they've also used flat brushes and they seem to have great feedback for whichever kind of brush you use. I'm going into time lapse. If I have any extra notes or tips to add, I will do a voiceover and add those. So remember when I said always stir the paint first? Okay, this is when you want to do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> because I went straight in there and just took that paint and forgot to stir it. So this is when I'm just showing you paint, stir, mix, wipe off the side. But I ended up going ahead and just using the paint off that stirring stick. And this is when I ended up switching to my size one flat brush because I never swatch with a size two. It's just so wide. So this one might be the perfect example of creamy, dreamy perfection. I think you can really get an idea of the consistency there. It doesn't drip off, so you can see like it's not fluid. It's not drippy. It's just, I don't even know how to explain the consistency. And you can see how every one of these paints is kind of sinking into the divots or the texture of the canvas, but it takes such a tiny drop to cover all of that. And what I'm not showing you on the video is that I'm putting a lot back throughout this entire swatching process um, into the little jar. So look, I mean, oh, now the yellows are not 100% opaque and a lot of them are very matte because of all the pigments in that paint, but I am still working on those. So some of you will be getting samples of the yellow that placed orders, and those are ones that I'm still kind of working on to make sure that I'm getting those a little more tweaked before the launch in May.
right, I am done. You'll notice I left a few little open swatches here for the ones that I'm currently working on. I've got a few more tints for this particular set of purples and a few more for the greens that are going to be right here in this area. So I went ahead and just left them open. As you can see, I started with the yummy, delicious palette first. You can see a little tiny bit of the paint pot underneath there. This one's the same, so I'm still kind of working to tweak these. Normally these would be so transparent that it wouldn't matter if you put down 15 layers in the paints you would get in a kit, you would never get any kind of coverage. That being as well covering as it is, is pretty, pretty amazing, honestly. Okay, so, and then same with this, pretty much 100% opacity. This one is like that. I'm still working on it because when I finished this color, I'd added a million dollars worth of pigment <laughs> and I finalized it, I put it in the bottles, I squeezed it into the little containers and it was 100% opaque. Um, I put it in the samples and sent it out to my Patreon people for them to do reviews for me. And then I retested it for a video and I got 90% coverage. And I was like, what the hell happened there? So I'm back to the mixing palette for this one right here, which is YL0010, but 11 YL0011 is almost 100% opaque. And then there will be more tints of this one too. I will have a lot more yellows, a lot more oranges, a lot more of all colors. But anyway, let's move on. 100% opaque for all the oranges there. This red I'm still working on, even though it's opaque here, it's a tricky one. So I'm still working on that one. That's RD0001, but it is a gorgeous color. And you know the reds, they are boogers and then their tints and there'll be more tints of all of these. But anyway, this is another red um, and then all of its tints and all opaque. I've reworked this pink because this is that pink, you guys. This is the pink that we all hate. We love it, beautiful color, but we hate to paint with it because it is a transparent pink. Well, not anymore, so. Hope you guys are super duper excited, because I know I am. And I spent three months making these, so I really hope that you will love these. I really do. All right, so going on, these are opaque. Once my Patreon members were able to purchase a sample kit to test for me and gave me some feedback, I realized I was on the right track and decided I'm gonna go ahead with this. So, all right, all opaque opaque there'll be more purples this is the deep 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 purple that we all struggle with usually it's extremely streaky no streaks none of that it's almost black it's so dark this is a violet so beautiful coverage all of these are opaque all right moving along but did you notice these gorgeous purples i actually made these this morning before this video opacity is 100 percent um, this is the gel blue that we all hate. I know I do, but it is 100% opaque at this point. All right, moving on. Beautiful, beautiful, opaque, opaque, opaque. All these are opaque, opaque. This green I've reworked a little bit since it went out to Patreon members. It's a little thicker, beautiful. And all of their tints are opaque. This is a brand new couple of colors, Granny Smith Apple. These I'm still making sure I'm tweaking, but for right now, they are opaque, which you will never ever see an apple green. Rarely, if ever, that is opaque. I will have more tints of that because it's one of my favorite colors. This chocolate brown, I got fabulous feedback. They didn't really have any complaints at all. Like everything was incredible. But, but since I sent out those kits to them, this one I've reworked a little bit. This is that really dark brown that can be very streaky. It is a burnt umber that you use for mixing colors. And I will have a mixing set, which I did not mention in the beginning. That's gonna be one of the first sets I introduced, which means you can take the colors in that set and create your own colors from it, which means there'll be a video at some point which will show you how to mix your own colors 
the colors in that set might be larger than the six milliliter bottles that you'll get in all the other sets. That way you can mix them and have enough to make the colors you need for your kit, okay? All right, and then this black. Beautiful, beautiful, opaque. A lot of people will say, well, aren't all blacks opaque? No, they are not. Can you believe it? Oh my God, they're not. I was like, what? But this one is, and it is a deep, gorgeous black. Which brings me back to the white, because I don't even think I mentioned it. I thought titanium whites were all opaque. Do you know that even the most expensive titanium white was not? Now, every company I tested, and I've tested nine companies, nine, and I mean Golden, Liquitex, and all the high-end brands that I've purchased their paints to test their consistency and their opacity. And even though they will say that their paint is opaque, it does not mean it is opaque in the first layer. It means it's opaque in a couple of layers. So including their titanium white, did not find one titanium white that was 100% opaque in the first layer. So Melanie created her own that is opaque in the first layer. Now, this was one that also went out to my Patreon members. And by the time they got it, it was not showing them 100% opacity. So I've reworked this one and I'm hoping by the time May comes around and I finally am able to launch this white, that it will be 100% opacity because when I send it out, it was 100%, but after it settled or whatever, I don't know if enough stirring would do the trick in these little tiny bottles. Um, but either way, I'm still making sure that's 100% by the time you get it, but it is a fabulous white. Okay, lot of information here. May is a very difficult month for me. Probably be closer to the third or fourth week, but if you will go to my website and subscribe to my emails, I will be sending out an email when these are ready for purchasing. That is it for today. I would love for you to comment. Tell me what you think of this yummy, delicious palette. Let me know which is your favorite out of the color families. I'm kind of struggling between the turquoise and the apple greens and the pinks, but you know, maybe I'm a little bit biased. Please give me a thumbs up for this video if you like what you see so far. If you'd like more information about how to join me on Patreon, I'm going to include all that information in the description below along with all the links for everything else. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you back soon. Bye.